The African tech landscape is flourishing with startups and innovation hubs popping up across the continent. Fintech, agritech and health tech are just some of the sectors that are booming. Despite the challenges of connectivity, funding and infrastructure, African entrepreneurs are proving to be resilient and determined to build the future of the continent. Innovation hubs like Yaba in Nigeria, CC Hub in Kenya and Co-Creation Hub in South Africa are providing the space and resources for tech startups to thrive. These hubs are also attracting the attention of international investors who are taking notice and the future of the African tech scene looks bright. And to discuss this further, I'm being joined live on the news by Anthony Igwe, founder Tech Starters Africa. Good afternoon, glad to have you join me. Thank you very much. Good afternoon. Now, what do you think are the main drivers of the growth of the African tech landscape? Uh, basically, I'll say money. Uh, because of the way things are in Africa, a lot of people are driven to want to make a better living for themselves. And as a person who runs a tech training in Nigeria, um, one of the major um, questions I got asked, or one of the major reasons why most people want to, you know, acquire these tech skills is mainly money. You know, they're looking for um, a better opportunity, a better, um, you know, a better place to actually earn more. Um, so, yeah. Another thing is the migration um, of people from Nigeria, the Jagba syndrome mainly. Jagba syndrome also is a push for most people to want to get these um, skills. Yeah, I could say those are the major reasons. And now, what unique uh, challenges do you feel African entrepreneurs face, and how do you think they can overcome them? I think what the major challenges we face in Africa is um, uh, though we are looking at um, you know trying to compete with the foreign market and one of the major problem is fraud right um, people have this idea that if you are in Nigeria or doing business okay let's say Africa if you're doing business in Africa um, you know you must be have you must have one fraudulent thing or the other you are doing and that has really hindered the growth it's making international foreign markets really skeptical about coming into the market. It's making it really skeptical for them to deal with us. And um, it's a huge problem. And it's also one of the reasons why most people are actually looking at the options of leaving you know, Nigeria to other countries, because it gives them this um, better playing field you know, for them to express themselves and their skill. You know. So, but for us that want to remain here, for us that want to build, um, you still want to build the tech ecosystem in Africa, because basically we are looking at, you know, expanding to the whole of Africa. And um, for us, we are willing to take on this challenge. Like, we are seriously willing to see how we can clean up the ecosystem as much as we can. And um, so we can, you know, to a large extent, um, allow you know, other people to see what we have here. Now, talking about, you know, taking up the challenge and remaining here in Africa, what are the biggest opportunities in the African tech sector? And which sectors do you see the most potential in? Mm. I always tell people that the African market is green. Like, I, I say this every time, that I think globally, Africa has the biggest tech market, right? In the next five, six, ten years, uh, it's going to be the go-to when it comes to um, tech talent. Um, I think the bigger, for now, the major opportunity I can see, security. Security is big. Um, I think agrotech also. Agrotech is big because of the challenges we now have with places like the Play 2 and, you know, those areas that are um, that growing plants there is being um, um, affected. I think this is where tech comes to play. This is where people that are coming into tech, um, if you want to be a techpreneur, I think it's a time to take advantage of agrotech to actually um, take charge of the deficit 
that is in agri. Mm. Basically, All right, yeah. Anthony, let's talk about uh, comparison to other international players. How does the African tech scene compare to other regions like Silicon Valley or Europe? I don't think there's any form of comparison. Okay, the reason why I don't think there's any form of comparison is this. Um, we are way behind. The tech ecosystem in Africa is, how will I put it, it's still very young. Um, it's, we've not... Like we've towards the end of 2023, we've been seeing a whole lot of tech startup fail. We've seen a lot of them fold up. Um, that is because of a whole different issues, and mainly I would say is mainly human. Um, we are young. We've not yet built up to that level where we can have a proper comparison to Silicon Valley or whatever. No, we, we, I don't think we've got into that to that point yet. Though we will, if we put in the work, if the um, Nigerian or African experts that move to the diaspora, after honing their skills and building whatever they want to build out there, they are able to see the opportunities which are in Africa and decide to come back home, I think we can build something bigger than Silicon Valley. Yes. All right. Now, talking about uh, those in diaspora, what role do you see the African diaspora playing in the growth of the tech sector? on the continent? They, I think they play the major role. They actually play a major role. Um, the reason why I would say this is because they go out there, they see what is tenable in the market, like in the foreign market, right? And because Africa is still green, it's still an open green market, they can bring in the, their load of experience, their loads of exposures that they've had, had out there, bring it back into this market and, you know, Clean it up. Apart from that, really, there's still a lot of automation that is needed to be done in Africa. A lot, like a lot. Compared to what they have out there, we've not gone 5% in Africa, really. So the role they play is almost the same thing that the Chinese did in China, moving from where they went to the US, got the skills, and went back to China to replicate the same thing. I think African diaspora can do the same thing, too. They can, you know, go out there, learn these tech skills or expand their skills or whatever and come back to Africa and, you know, basically replicate the same thing. Yeah. I most sincerely thank you for your time on the news and your company in the studio. Thank you Anthony very much. Igwe, founder, Tech Status Africa. Thank you once again. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm.